Today we're going to be taking a look at the new printing of Hulk, Planet Hulk Omnibus by Greg Pak. It has a $100 cover price and a 656 page count. Let's get into this Omnibus review. Okay, so here we have the new printing of the Hulk Planet Hulk Omnibus direct market variant with artwork from Jose Ladrone on the cover here on the spine. Now the creators are above the image on the spine, which was a good little change from the original printing. Some beautiful artwork here on the back of the cover and on the inside of the dust jacket, left hand side synopsis on the right hand side, a little bit about the creators. Then you get this great wraparound cover here, that beautiful green, Incredible Hulk coming at you. This is artwork from issue 105 of the Incredible Hulk towards the back of this omnibus i think it's actually the end really of this story taking a look at the binding real quick it is sewn binding you have like a green ribbon there of course it's a little tight not much of an eye but you won't get too much gutter loss in this book fortunately here's your incredible hulk planet hulk title page then right after it, you're going to get the table of contents with all the issues collected in this omnibus it's all in great reading order fortunately which is a, that is a huge plus for this book it's going to start out with fantastic four 533 through 535 in these issues of the Fantastic Four here, a gamma bomb goes off in Las Vegas, which turns the Hulk into that kind of rampaging, just destroying nature of the Hulk that we all know and love. The Fantastic Four is sent to investigate, and they do find the Incredible Hulk, and some crazy battles ensue between the Hulk and the Thing, which is some some pretty decent stuff. It's a it's a good little couple issues here. Now, because of all the destruction that took place during these events. Everybody kind of points fingers at the Hulk and is blaming him for all the destruction that was brought upon the city. So basically he's kind of exiled and that'll kind of continue into the Incredible Hulk 88 that picks up after this from Daniel Way. And the Hulk now is just kind of living by himself, just like in the woods and stuff, just isolated, just trying to stay away from people so that he doesn't destroy things anymore and turn into his crazy, incredible Hulk ways. So you got Bruce Banner out here basically living the mountain man life. He's got like a sick beard now, and he's like gathering salmon from a stream with grizzly bears. He does actually get into a little incident here with some uh, some folks while he's trying to be isolated out here on the mountain and he is eventually approached by Nick Fury. Now, the story really begins with the Illuminati, which is of course a secret group consisting of Iron Man, Doctor Strange, Mr. Fantastic and Black Bolt. The Illuminati basically decide that the Hulk is just too dangerous to remain on Earth. So they trick him into boarding a spaceship which is really supposed to transport him to a sort of peaceful uninhabited planet where he can just like live out the rest of his days and not be destructive on Earth anymore. But something goes wrong during this flight and the Hulk ship instead crash lands on this planet Sakaar, which is a, a brutal war-torn world ruled by this crazy emperor dude named the Red King. Uh, separated from his friends and allies, the Hulk is captured on this planet Sakaar, and he is forced to uh, fight in gladiatorial battles for the amusement of the Emperor and all the people on this, this planet here. Now, along the way, he makes uh, new friends and allies, which actually kind of have... Uh, the Korg and Meek from the uh, the Ragnarok movie, so they, they play a little bit of a role in this. They're completely different than what they were in that movie, though, but as he fights his way to the top of the gladiatorial arena, the Hulk discovers the truth about the Emperor's tyranny and decides to lead a rebellion against him. So, uh, the story is, like, super well-crafted. Uh, Greg Pak definitely balances, like, the action, the drama, and character development throughout this. The Hulk is way more complex of a character than he has been in, uh, in the past. He's a super fascinating character in this, and Pac does an excellent job of exploring like his inner thoughts and turmoil and struggles with all the anger and violence that he once had. You do get a completely different style of the Hulk throughout this series as well, so you're not going to get really that kind of Hulk smash style. You're going to get the smart version of Bruce Banner throughout this, so you're going to get definitely a more intelligent version of him so he's he's has the intelligence and whatnot of bruce banner but just the physical aspects and abilities that the incredible hulk has so that it's kind of a very uh, a very cool change to the normal ways that we see the incredible hulk but don't get it twisted he is smashing shit and going hard in the paint throughout this entire run here I think one of the key things that I love so much about this run here was definitely the artwork throughout this book. It's just absolutely superb. Each artist brings their own unique style and vision to this story. I mean, Carlo Peglin, I probably butchered his name. He handles like most of the artwork throughout
throughout this entire run here but his artwork is just absolutely dynamic it's highly detailed it's a perfect fit for like the story's epic battles and larger than life characters then you have aaron lapresti on here and gary frank who also have excellent work throughout this entire run as well they bring a different but equally impressive style to this whole run here love that artwork right there man just absolutely beautiful just a tremendous read man and you can definitely kind of uh, tell the little adaptations that they took from this and put in that thor ragnarok movie which is actually one of my favorite thor actually just period movies of all time i'm a huge fan of the thor ragnarok so you do have like the korg and meek in there and you do have this whole like kind of gladiator thing going on um they definitely didn't bring everything it would be cool if they had an actual movie of this but i highly doubt that'll happen i know there is an animated series or something like that that i i'm not really a fan of the marvel animated material but maybe i'll check that out one day especially since i really really like the story absolutely love that artwork of the hulk there with his eye man looking absolutely fucking insane if you're looking to pick up this omnibus i get all my books from organic price books the best place to get your omnibus and other collected editions super fast shipping bolo food packaging and amazing customer service use promo code DROCK to get two dollars off your purchase at organicpricebooks.com and if you use DROCK, ship it together, you can get 5% off an order of three or more books from organicpricebooks.com. So join the OPB family today. Link is down in the description. Lots of powerful and emotional moments throughout this Planet Hulk story here, which really is amplified by this just absolutely incredible artwork that you can find throughout the pages of this omnibus here. Just really, truly, just astoundingly good artwork. I'm huge fan of this run. You also get a couple tie-ins throughout this too, so these issues issues expand on the events of the main story and provide like you know a little additional context and backstory for some of the characters throughout here which is always good this is the end of the incredible hulk issue 105 and that is the artwork that can be seen on the wraparound cover of this omnibus then you get this uh what if planet hulk issue here which is pretty decent after reading this omnibus now i can understand why everybody raves about this run here and says it's one of the greatest incredible hulk runs of all time uh the world war hulk material comes after this so hopefully we do end up getting a reprint of that omnibus as well but i mean overall like the planet hulk omnibus is a must read for fans of the hulk or any kind of science fiction adventure stories. I mean, it explores great themes of power, responsibility, and redemption, all the while delivering pulse-pounding action and unforgettable characters. The artwork is just truly top-notch throughout this whole thing. I'm a huge fan of this run. You do get this gladiator guidebook collected in the extras here, which kind of expands on this Sakaar world and gives some character bios and uh, some maps and etc throughout it and then you get a little bit of uh, like varying covers and some uh, black and white sketches there that great picture of uh, emperor hulk you do get a little afterward by greg pock at the end here which is uh, a cool little read highly recommend checking out this omnibus if you haven't read it yet let me know what you think about planet hulk down in the comments and as always thanks for watching